Yo, how you doing YouTube? Welcome back, my name is Tim Provision. Thank you so much for checking out this video today. Today we are checking out the brand new season six of Apex Legends. We are doing a Volt vs. R99 comparison. We're gonna go in the firing range, we're gonna test those numbers, crunch those numbers, and we're gonna figure out which gun is better. It's probably gonna be the R99, but I think what you're gonna see about the Volt is gonna be a little surprising. My initial reaction is that it is kind of crazy. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. You'll see the stats. At the beginning of every video, we like to highlight a comment. Today's comment is from Bogan Gamer. You're one of the most underrated and underappreciated YouTubers on the platform. Thank you so much, Bogan. Appreciate those kind words. If you want your comment highlighted, be sure to drop one down below. Let me know what you think so far of season six of Apex. I am digging it so far. As always, like the video if you want to help me get the video noticed and subscribe to the channel. We, we post three to five videos every week on this channel. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Let's crunch those numbers. Here we go. So the very first thing I want to review in this video is actually the magazine size of the Volt. The Volt will have a 19 as a default magazine size, 21 for the level 1 mag, 23 for the level 2 mag, and 26 bullets for the level 3 mag. I will show you the recoil patterns of the Volt, but first I want to discuss the damage numbers. The Volt will do 13 damage to a leg shot, 16 to a body, and 24 damage to a head shot. This is pretty crazy to be honest, 26 bullets honestly means if you don't miss a single bullet you can kill two people with a single clip all to the body with just this volt. So that's pretty wild. Obviously you're going to miss your shots so at the very least if you're doing just body shots it only takes half a mag to kill a person and that's if you don't even do any headshots. So that's pretty insane, you know it only requires 13 of the 19 bullets right off the ground volt to kill someone. Before we discuss the R99, I want to show you the recoil pattern for the Volt. It's pretty simple. It's pretty much like most of the guns in this game. It does do something a little weird at the end of the recoil pattern where it bounces left. But for the most part, this recoil is quite manageable. It goes straight up for the most part. If you put a gold barrel on, it kind of just reduces the vertical kick, I felt like, a little bit. You have more bullets going center mass rather than up into the sky. But honestly, the difference between a gold barrel and no barrel really isn't that much of a difference you'll see here on screen. So it's pretty good recoil pattern. Definitely not too hard to control at all. And so here's the comparison. The left two are with a gold barrel and the right two are with no barrel on the gun. As you can see, Pretty similar recoil patterns, but maybe the left few are a little bit more tight packed and not quite as much of a kick to the left. So moving on to the R99, if you're not familiar with this, this season's changes, the R99 is now a care package weapon. And care package weapons are now red, which is why the gun is red on the screen. Since it's in a care package now, the R99 has a base mag of 32. And the base damage for the R99 now is a 10 to the leg, a 12 to the body, and 18 to the head. And I didn't go quite far into testing with the recoil patterns and such, but honestly, this does feel pretty much exactly the same. It just does a little bit more damage than it used to, and you have more bullets in the magazine size. Honestly, though, I think this might be a little bit of a nerf to the R99. The fact that it's in a care package, it's going to be hard to come by. And on top of that, you only have 160 rounds total for this gun. And if anyone uses an R99, you know that this thing shreds ammo like it's nothing. And if you are in a intense end game fight, you might rip through all these rounds super quickly and you might not even realize. So I would love to see the R99 to have a little bit more reserve ammo. 160 to me is just not enough. So now moving on to the main discussion, is the Volt or is the R99 better? Now, there's a couple things to note, of course. Our testing, of course, is all body shots to the dummies in the firing range. Obviously, things will change if you're doing headshots, if you're doing leg shots, you know, depending on the type of helmet the person has will change your time to kill, that kind of thing. Obviously, how far away you are, if you're actually hitting your shots, will change your time to kill. But this is just pure body shots to these dummies, and these are the two time to kills. So the Volt clocked in at 1.08 seconds, or approximately 1.1 seconds, and the R99 clocked in at 1.01 seconds. 0 0.07 seconds is not that much of a change. Obviously, just picking up a stock R99 out of the care package is always going to be better here. The fact that the Volt shoots a little bit slower, does a little bit more damage, if you can find ammo on the ground, you might be better off using the Volt than the R99. I'm not quite sure how the ammo economy will be in this game now. In the past, it's always been a hard time to find energy ammo, but the fact that there's more energy guns might make it easier to get this ammo now. It'll be up to you if you can get the right attachments on the gun to make it almost as good as the R99. But there you have it. The R99 does slightly edge out the Volt, and the R99 is the winner. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of this video. We had a pretty sweaty game. This was my very first game ever on the new map. So it was a lot of fun. At the end of this game, we got a little bit unlucky. I think the enemy was lagging or something, or I was lagging, I don't know. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of stuff to cover this week for season six. Enjoy season six launch day, everyone. Have a good one, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow in our next video. and in my freaking face. Patching myself up. One second, we got this. Close enough to smell the teardrops. Coming 